What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about conditional jumps, so let's get started. Now what are conditional jumps? Well conditional jumps are just jumps that only will jump if a certain condition is met. And uh, they uh, look at the registers. If a certain register is uh, meets their condition then they'll jump. We use the conditional jumps together with the comparison instruction. With the comparison instruction, CMP, the, we can compare operands. Now, uh, then the, the flags are affected. The two operands are not affected. So the only thing affected are flags. So then the jump instruction, the conditional jump instruction, looks at the flags. If the certain flag is, if the certain condition is met, then the jump happens. If not, then it, it, the program continues normally. So these are some of the conditional jump instructions. There are more. I'm going to talk more about those conditional jumps in the next class but uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on these today so the first one is JC jump if carry so basically if the carry flag is set to one then uh, you will jump then uh, next one is JNC jump if not carry so if the carry flag is not set if the carry flag is clear then you will jump the next one is JZ this is the one that most people use JZ is jump if zero. So the, if the zero flag is set, then the jump happens. The next one is JNZ, jump if not zero. So if the zero flag is not set and the zero flag is clear, then you will jump. So again, we use the jump instructions with together with the comparison instruction, right? And uh, the comparison instruction compares operands. If then uh, the operands are not affected, but the flags are affected, then the jump instruction looks at the flag. If that, that certain flag that it's looking at is uh, set, then the jump happens. If it's not set, then it won't happen. So I'll show you how that works right now. So we have to start off by moving around some values. Let's move into AX, the value of 5, right? And now AX has a value of 5. Let's use the CMP instruction to compare instruction. So CMP. And uh, we want to compare whether AX has a value of 5, right? So AX 5, right? So what, what this is going to do, it's going to uh, subtract 5 from AX. And uh, it's not going to affect the operands, right? And uh, the only th the thing that's going to be affected is the flags. So it's going to subtract those two, and uh, the flags are affected, right? Once it subtracts the two, it should be a zero. The zero flag should be set because we moved into AX the value of five, right? Then when we compared a five with AX, they're going to subtract. Then we're going to get a zero. So then the zero flag should be set. So then let's use the jump of zero. So JZ, sorry, JZ is jump if zero, right? And let's create a label to jump to let's say l2 right let me create the label down here so l2 and we got to use colon right so this is our label this is the the, the spot is going to jump it'll jump right under here and execute whatever instruction is under the label so right we, we typed in l2 now let's uh, add some code under l2 here let's move into ax i'm sorry let's use bx Let's move, let's say six, right? So let's move some values in between here. So move into, let's say, BX, let's say one, right? So, okay, I'll explain exactly what's going on. We started off by moving uh, the value of five into AX, right? So now AX has a value of five. Okay, now we use the comparison instruction, right? We're comparing the value of five with AX. AX has a value of five, so they're gonna subtract each other, right? The comparison operator subtracts the the both values it doesn't alter the values it just subtracts them and then if it affects the flags and uh since five to, uh, minus five is zero right they're equal to each other the zero flag will be set so now here we have uh, the conditional jump here this is jump if zero so this will jump only if the zero flag is set so the zero flag is set here so then it will jump to our label l2 and then it will start the code here so then it should move into bx6 and it should uh bypass this here right so move into bx1 let's test it out that's it it's highlighting our first instruction move into ax the value of five right once i hit single step ax should have a value of five so let's hit single step as you can see ax has a value of five up here let me just move this up here 
as you can see, AX has a value of 5. Now, it's highlighting our second instruction, the comparison instruction, right? Once I hit single set, the comparison instruction is not going to alter the values at all. It's just going to affect the flags right here. So I'll move the flags up here. So right now, the flags are 0, right? So once I hit single step, the flag should be altered, right? So let's open this up here. So our 0 flag is set because... Uh, the, the two values were the same, and the comparison operator subtracts the values, and L, we have a zero, and the zero flag is set. So now here, it's it's highlighting jump if zero. So this will jump to our label only if the zero flag is set. In our case, the zero flag is set, so it should jump straight to here. Let's hit single step. As you can see, it jumped right under the, the L2 label, because that we put the L2 label next to our jump. So it completely bypassed this, right? What the, the, the conditional jumps do, they're like the equivalent of an if statement, basically. And you're testing conditions. If certain conditions are met, then you do something. Otherwise, you, you do something else, right? So let's try something else, right? Let's close this here. Let's try another conditional jump instruction. Let's try jump if uh, zero flag is not set. So that's J N Z. Let's open up MU8086. Let's type in J N Z, right? So right here, we're gonna leave our values the same. So th the zero flag will be set, so it won't jump straight to L2. It will uh, first execute this, then it'll go to L2, right? So let's hit emulate. First line of code is highlighted, so let's hit single step. Now our AX has a value of five. The comparison instruction is highlighted, right? So let me open up the flags here so you can see. So once I hit single step, nothing will be affected other than the flags. Let's hit single step here and there's again the zero flag is set because we didn't alter the values at all right so right now our uh, conditional jump is highlighted right here is jump if the zero flag is not set right so it's not going to jump it should uh, move straight to this here because the zero flag is set so let's hit single step and as, as you can see we removed right under it did not jump to our label here because the zero flag was set and this uh, conditional jump would only jump if the zero flag was not set. So pretty cool, right? Let's try another one. Let's try jump if carry, JC. The carry flag can be set if when using the comparison instruction and if the result is not equal, then the, the carry flag is set. So let's, so uh, this conditional jump here is JC. So let's try it out. So let's jump if the carry flag is set. So let's type in C so JC jump if carry flag is set leave these two values the same the carry flag won't be set so let's make this one a four since the, the answer is not going to be equal we, the, the carry flag will be set so let's hit emulate our first line of code is highlighted move into AX the value of four let's hit single step next line of code is highlighted the comparison operator right let's hit single step and our flags are affected here to see the carry flag was set to one because they they were equal right and the, the zero flag wasn't set so the carry flag was set so now right here our conditional jump is highlighted jump if carry flag is set so it's going to jump to our label because the carry flag is set so let's hit single step as you can see it bypassed this here and jumped straight to our label and now let's hit single step now it moved into bx the value of six and completely skipped this here let's try another one let's try jump if uh, not carry so j n c if the jump if not if the carry flag is not set so it's basically like the jump if zero so let's make this five again and uh let's make this jump if not carry so so add an n between here j n c is the instruction so basically this will jump only if the 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 carry flag is not set so let's hit emulate our first line of code is highlighted, move into AX the value of 5, let's hit single step, now AX has a value of 5. Our second line of code is highlighted, the comparison instruction, right? So again, the flags are only affected, the, the values are not affected at all. So let's uh, hit single step. As you can see, our carry flag is 0, right? Because our carry flag was not set, so it should jump, right? So let's hit single step, and it jumped because the carry flag was not set. So that's pretty much it. So again, this is going to be part one of conditional jumps. Our next uh, part, I'll be talking about equality comparison and the equality uh, jump instructions. So if you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmoreTech.com and thanks for watching.